Hello everyone, welcome to my very, very long overdue follow-up. Uh, this is part two of my power shifting setup. Just a recap, it's been a long time for some of you. Uh, over here we have a 300 watt grid tie inverter. Obviously, uh, if you're going to do setup, doing setup seriously, you're going to want to go with larger size components. Um, this one was just a proof of concept, that's why I stick with a small system. I, right there, oh, I got a kilowatt meter so I can show you guys that power is indeed going back into the grid. Um, as kilowatt meters do work in both directions, both back in or out of the grid. And a uh, little black thing with the little, little pieces on it. Um, that is a DC to DC converter. Uh, now, the dilemma I had, we got a car battery there. Uh, definitely not deep cycle, these are just one of my little experimentation batteries that I revived with using a capacitive battery charger, one of my other video series. Uh, but the dilemma I had was, that can take a maximum of 300 watts. Hooking it directly up to a battery would instantly overload it as the device itself, and I couldn't find any of them uh, under, you know, four or $5,000 that could go directly onto the battery um, to limit the amount of current passing through. So I picked up this little device for under 10 bucks, that little black one, uh, to see if it could limit the current. That is rated for about 75 watts. Like I said, there's larger ones. Just for proof of concept, though, I'm not wasting more money on a larger one if it doesn't work, or if it fried itself, so on and so forth. Uh, last time I just showed the setup. Uh, today I'm going to actually show you the setup working. So um, I got an extension cord here. It's plugged into my little drop light, and if you guys are wondering what all this weird stuff is that uh, I'm actually working on top of today, it's railroad track. You can see that in my other video as I'm building a miniature railroad in my backyard that my kids can actually ride on, or adults uh, can actually ride on as an electric locomotive can pull up to eight adults at 20 miles per hour around my backyard. So anyways, we have a kilowatt meter right now. I just plugged it in nine minutes ago. Nothing else is plugged into it as you can see. Power factor is currently one. Oh yeah, this will also tell us the efficiency of the inverter going into the grid. Um, this is claimed at about 80% efficiency. The inverter is supposed to be about 90% efficiency. Plus then whatever it takes to charge the battery. Battery chargers are usually at 90% efficiency. So we're losing roughly, just going by uh, factory stated numbers, which I think um, in some other tests I did were pretty much spot on for the inverter and uh, this uh, DC converter, um, we were losing, let's see, about 40% of our efficiency. Um, I did calculate it out, though. You are saving money. Um, not statically a lot, but you are. Um, so take it as you will. Um, the bigger the system, the more efficient it's going to be in um, what, what you'll be able to reduce your daytime time of use electrical usage and save you on your day bill. So, uh, I guess I'll just start off by plugging the inverter in. Uh, the battery's not connected up to the system yet. None of the lights are on. I got my tripod on the little stilt, extra stilts here to get me some extra height. Uh, here's plugging in the inverter with nothing on it. Nothing happens. It's not drawing any watts, volt amps, nothing, as there's no power going in. Uh, I just wanted to show you, see if I can do this here without knocking everything over. There's the cord. Goes up right into the unit. It's nice and snug. Snug in there. It's drawing nothing. Just showing you guys that the unit is, does not take power out of the batteries. And no um, some of the nasty comments I got, I'm not building a um, Unity Power whatever perpetual motion machine. I know this has lo uh, power loss. I'm not creating something out of nothing, which some people um, with a very low IQ on the left side there thing, seem to think I'm trying to build free power machine. I am not. I'm just doing a power shifting, as I call it, taking power from nighttime and using it to feed back into the grid during the day helps reduce um, grid load during the daytime where demand is high. 
Also, if you're on time use electrical service, you can t charge up your batteries at night at, uh, well, at least where I live, it's five cents a kilowatt hour at night. And it's right now it's at about 27 cents a kilowatt hour during the day. Uh, my daytime usage is fairly low, but using one of these systems, I could almost eliminate my uh, daytime usage uh, or even feed more into the grid, causing my electrical bill to go backwards during the daytime and uh, just make up for it at night. Uh, so that would be like I'm almost always using uh, 5 cents a kilowatt hour. Uh, due to some reason, YouTube put a restriction on my account uh, on the length and uh, file size of videos. Um, I'm going to continue this in part three. I'm going to be plugging everything in.